It's yeah, not good. Yeah, absolutely. Big Fury coming up. Awful. Awful. Oh, Basaros gets the hook. The nice Carlo. high ground vision. They find Carlo. That's exactly what you want on your punch. We'll give it over to Mikoto as well. Perfectly done. <laughs> Back to the. Oh, oh, the look at this. oh, no. Dude, they're like, hey, you know, stealing hard games is kind of late. We're gonna try that ourselves, but now, Masaro's ready to defend it. Half of the creeps already gone though, but Koto is here. That means Carlo likely doesn't stand a chance. Kings as well. It's gonna get rotted down. They pick up two for their trouble. Like, the, the, the focus is so clear. Yeah. Koto. Straight teams. Chase room, this should be a very damn lion. Uh, this is one of those what can you do situations. <laughs> yeah. Like how do you, how do, you right. do with the haste? Yeah, I mean that you're not that you're not triangle, right? Not back to Olsen. He's in trouble. Turns around with the lasso to the one person doing damage. There's no Gabby's in a little bit of trouble. The blast is gonna tag him. Abed able to trade out one for one for now. But Gabby now in some trouble. Jackie will run forward, get the touches off onto Gabby, but a very nice thing discipline. Magic Wand will keep him alive. Now Mikoto needs to try and escape. Lion is back into the mix because of those early death of the Death time. I'm at stuck. Yeah, this is a bit of an awkward position here. Actually, not so much for Abed, but for Mikoto. He's desperately trying to make his way out, but I don't think the will be able to come out in time, dodging the last auto attack. 10 HP and the Swatch Mako doesn't let Mikoto. Are you kidding me? Oh, delivers Jackie out of there as well. They, oh, that kill would have changed everything too. And the last one, Shmako going wide. Abed guesses wrong. This punch is a problem. Yeah. Top of the network, higher than the Naga Siren right now. Turn around, finger of death onto Pelosa. Trying to get the grab, but didn't have a lasso. Even if we rush the bling, it's not like we're really looking for edgy. I guess engagement, but now Gabby is in now. Blink reveal and instant splatter. Battlefield where Mikoto was, there's nothing but water there as they mop up this tier 1 while adding. I'm still a bit unconvinced that this will be something other than some mental tier 2s. They actually put the Aegis on Abed instead. Okay, so that kind of signifies to me that they still want to keep this aggression up. Because sometimes you see the first Aegis chuck off the last one instead of Taro. He's gonna break that smoke, post Aegis. Uh, pick up on the side of Blacklist. The nice rolling thunder are breaking up the fight, but they just haven't been able to kill Masaros off yet. He's still standing his ground, and now you're forced to soft. Four members of the side of Bleed still standing strong, and DJ actually forcing forward. He wants to look for more. He gets set up onto Abed. This is not how you want to lose your first life. But he gets cut down, and they have a big problem. They have no way of dealing with these tanks. Of the team of Taros and Jackie just standing their ground, even the seeds of Serenity helping so much. They're just gonna rotate here. They don't want to trade this. Oh, the whole thing is the thing on the Gabby. You have to swap available in Carlo. Once again, we'll have to sacrifice the life. But Lose would like to look for more, but very heads up play from Carlo there. Bleed. They are more than just in the driver's seat. I don't think Blacklists are anywhere near a vehicle. Get some info with the Bat Rider area. Flying away. The Blink Up Crush to the high ground. Uh oh. Pelosa doesn't stand a chance that too much physical damage and Gabby is looking very strong with the future of the Pelosa is working out for them here. The Pharaohs is starting to tighten around here. Abed is the Rolling Thunder now to high ground but Jackie actually popping that PKB the fresh pickup for him. Carlo with another beautiful spot gets Gabby out of trouble but him that high time is waiting away on the back line. They try to finish him off but Masaro's finally going down. He managed to buy enough time and Raven's here to play. Starting to silence up and chop down onto DJ. Nice walk up back onto the high ground but Jackie is still standing strong. The Naga Siren, the team calls, they're still fine here. You're gonna pop down, try to finish off CJ. The pesky Kotto still healing himself. You finish off the Slada, and Jackie stands supreme. Now it's the Mikoto. It's a 1v2 situation. Abed needs to get out of here. The slight is gonna miss, though. To push their advantage. Diet are scanning for enemies. Not gonna get any easier. Easy blink out. Oh, that's a beautiful walk. That was planted down by Carlo before he went down. Gaddy, that's gonna set up a two-man crush. And now Masaros is in trouble. No more boss out for you. And they eliminated the punch from the equation. They're holding on to Jackie as well. And he pops the BKB, starting to lay into him. But they can't pick a target. They're trying to work down Gaddy. He's dropping a little bit low. But your BKB is gonna run on Jackie. What else can you do? Raven has the song. That's gonna buy him enough time to potentially get out of this situation. TP's out. That's a successful evacuation right there. They swap some hexes to catch heroes off guard. Those power of the up, they are looking monstrous. 
Jeez. No, hey. there's it's like a like a fish, like a, usually like a like a fake fish on a plaque, and it, and you push a button and it sings. I swear, it's a real and, thing. And uh, I mean, I'm hoping that this fish can sing right now, but right now it looks like it's just dead. So Masaro's grabbing another Kalo, is trying to come in close for that swap save. All he'll find is his own death. Two easy pickoffs. Masaro's has really turned it on this game. And you're still getting routine. He kills on Jackie, smacking away at the high ground now. Blacklist, you don't like, look like that. Fine, no card, get the swap through, but you see get Jackie so quick with the rage. And Kalo, he's just given his life up for the boss. Nothing to be found other than a slada. The nice song to break that situation up. Five heroes standing together, but there isn't really any follow-up. Abed not feeling too confident to roll into this all really nearly. Masaro still brings in, looks for another. He didn't get the kill onto Jackie on his first fight. He wasn't really able to activate any of his items. Nice four stars. Yet Masaro's out of trouble. Abed looking for the punch down with the roll. But they're already raised up. I mean, you just kind of look like a pinball right now. It's nothing to be taken seriously. That's a rolling thunder down and you're just back on the racks. I mean, please, this team... I mean, this teamfight execution has just been nominal. The Koto even dodges that start, jump forward, but masters the rose. He's gonna get interrupted by that Earth fight. Jackie is gonna be again, saving his ally, but Gabby is in such trouble now. Force to pop the DKG just to flee. That's not what you want, but small little caveat beautiful Lotus to stop that swap from finding anyone. Your mana pool is out. One thing we haven't talked about is not just all this Koto here, but Saros. He's not a shard from the Tormentor. So he's able to eat Jackie up if he gets in trouble. Yeah, it's the fastest uh, life speed of punch situation. You eat me, I eat you. Yeah. Pokemon. That's He's a hungry it, boy. That's not how it goes. <laughs> every other, every other time we are free, right? <laughs> so what a hint. Uh, make sure they're fed, right? I mean, I don't know what... Uh, they got to eat. pretty well. Okay, come through. Fourth, the BKB from Gabby and a nice swap from Carlo. We really don't want to stop that. Raven on the sidelines is considering he needs the song. But already the bench is dead. Lots of buybacks on Thomas have brought out for a certain height and promotion. Might be in terms of crushed down. Overwhelming damage. Commits a bit too deep on that bat rider. And now it's a 4v4 situation. The total popping the BKB just to not get bumped around as well. Oh, this is like one of the longest light of chains I've seen in my life. So I think as well. Oh, here comes Masaro forcing the buyback now from the bench. Raven pops the BKB. That's a reveal. But Jackie, he's just running him down. He's going to go down for the buyback. It feels like the last stand from Blacklist. But all they have is a song and a low, low Naga Siren who needs to reset. You can't take this fight anymore, especially not with Gabby. Well, there is a buyback on the Slada at this point. But, oh, it's a huge wrap around. Oh, cool. They do need to catch DJ, but they've already been caught. Malosan is in trouble, but able to get forced out the way and heals himself up. The side of Blacklist are in big, big trouble. They'll finish off Malosan to start not even. Gabby has to commit the BKB for it, but you've already lost Raven. And your Naga Sirens out of the picture. How much can Gabby do? This is not the fish who can bring it home for the squad. And no more singing for you, Blacklist. They'll tap out of game number one as we completely obliterate their opponent. No song to be sung that fight at all. Blacklist rivalry end up here instead. Now one game away from getting knocked out. But yeah, it is going to be that Spirit Vessel build that you mentioned. He queued it up from the very start, so it's almost like he's letting us know like this is how we want to play. Abed, nice rotation to the top side, potentially catching DJ off guard. A few more seconds until that second round of spells, but looks like Masaros will be able to get a return. And Ruby actually gets the EXP before going down. Spirit Vessel level 6, or, or rather even the urn, right? You can really get things going. That's the clone straight up on the Carlo. I think it's not really a ganky hero. It's a bit of a different story if you just run right into him at level 6. It's an easy first charge for the Art Warden. Mercy Akonda Arc Warden. I'm done at that point. I mean, they are getting pretty creative with the build so far, so you never know. But now, just converging on this mid lane. Abed actually taking so much damage. No real tools for survivability in this early stage. And Mikoto is just trouncing all over his taunt about Carlo. And a little bit of a pickle as well, but won't be tagged by that spark wave. He'll be able to walk free, but look at this dominance in the mid lane. Man, Mikoto is putting one on right now. He is feeling very confident and looking very good on this arc we're gonna bring three support, or rather three heroes from Blacklist to try and defend this. No more Tempest double. Inkswell helping Mikoto out, but what do you have other than that initial stun? Nothing to stop that TP. Gabby wasn't charging on the same target. They're trying to go for more, and that green is gonna come back and bite them. Straight on, Mikoto, Gabby coming into the mid lane, and a much needed kill. The lift can't come in time. DJ will get a return onto Carlo, though. But the stolen charge. Ah, that looks so silly. DJ, with the help of the Stampede, he'll get out of trouble.
Because I believe, yeah, Carlo died after Makoto did, so Makoto would no, have but, gotten the extra no, but message. He gets the taunt from dying, right? Not if you not if you don't have zero. Okay. All that thought Mikoto is dead on our screens again. It's beautiful execution from Tim sending him in with that ink swell, but Jackie, he's still standing tall. Works on Carlo to finish off the Spirit Breaker as well, but Abed is cleaning up shop on the back lines. 2D for 2 exchange. Radiant coming in, they might try to gank Gabby here. Straight into the mid lane. Stolen charge use his own spell against him. Looking for the lifesteal. Oh, they narrowly missed Carlo. He would have loved to break that smoke, but they settle for him instead. Should be an easy kill. Turn around the nether ward. Not much to be done there, unfortunately. Just gets killed off. They charge through Gabby with the ink spell. It's onto DJ. Even if the Stampede can't get that Rubik out of there. One for one trade on the supports. Not ideal, but given that you've brought in so many heroes for Blacklist. Just because Jackie is still farming. True. And what, they only lose their support. It's support for support again. But this is where danger happens. Yeah. I mean, this can start happening now. Gabby doesn't have any items, but he still services just fine as a delivery for Raven to get into the mix. You know, all of these points add up. All of these events matter. And I think more so than that, the expectations for the AUG is to see another delivery. Mikoto, he can't afford to die here, but that is exactly what's going to happen. Raven just eats him right up. So th that's how it works, right? It's like you're in Yules, but you can Timber Chain away out of Yules. So you, yeah. use, you throw the Timber Chain out first, it takes a while to connect, and to avoid disables, you use yourself. Huh. Checks out. Yeah. It'll get Tims, but now the charge out, the Yules again, disjointing that initiation. Now Abed forced to blink away into the Eclipse. It's gonna Ooh. catch nobody. Very fast moves from the Timber Saw, but Masaros doesn't want to let this one go. Spies out Carlo. And looks like the partner's gonna go down. Meanwhile, you have the commitment onto the backline. DJ and Pelosa are in some trouble, and they should be mopped up pretty easily. But Mikoto, still untouched, but can't exactly do anything against Raven, who's on a double kill now. Kind of fumbled the bag with your centaur, blink reveal. Mikoto as well, you know, he's feeling a lot less confident taking these fights. We'll be able to get out of that troublesome situation with Gabby, thanks to the Inkswell team. Maybe the sacrifice in this situation, and I don't think. Blacklist can afford to stick around. Abed will just cut straight through the perimeter though. And he's in trouble once again using the Yule's trick to get himself to safety. Trying to refresh the blink. He's found for now, but once again, the angles. They find him, but Masaro's right on his heels. They might get this huge kill, and they'll manage to finish him off with Jackie's Lucent Beam. And the chase is on. They're still on to Raven. Yule's up. Rage ends, and the setup is there. He doesn't have any help. And they can do nothing but watch and retreat a little bit too deep for Blacklist Rivalry. Not respecting Masaros, he might not have landed and connected on that initial blink reveal, but he's making it work for him now. Four kills across the board and a tower to boot. This might not be a high ground that you can this Blacklist. Still trying to control the vision around the area. Tims will be found and Carlo. Not much you can do about that other than the D crap, but so much magic control and damage. They're doing very a very smart move in only presenting Jackie on the front lines, not allowing any susceptible targets to get caught out by a charge. Dyer's top barracks are under yes, the gonna, it's, <laughs> it's, bad, it's bad. I mean, it's barely gonna tickle Dyer's them. That's the problem. Yeah. Patient. Hold the racks a little bit longer. Maybe so Jackie has to really pull them into this. There comes Gabby into the fray. The Yule's up though, but Raven starting to punch away. That's a BKB. And Gabby, he doesn't stand a chance. He just gets sliced apart. He has Spirit Breaker. He has a buyback. But this is a very tricky situation to fight into now. Mikoto has committed the clone. And Carlo looks to be in trouble. The Glimmer Cape will save him for now. But they get what they came for in the racks. And they still keep the Aegis intact. Yeah. You just have the potential of not doing things. Like the thing about the Pangolier is you're always going to be able to have a reliable ultimate to do things in the game. Now try and aggress onto Jackie here, but Raven with that Inkswell and the Rage running out, you gotta be careful. Lift back straight in, Masaro with the Storm set up as well. Jackie popping the shots, spinning all around him. Gabby has committed in, but he's gonna die again. Nice defense to keep him alive, but only momentarily as Raven forced to pop the BKB. Turn around with the physical damage. It's overwhelming. Not enough to just finish him off, but Jackie still stands his ground. Finally losing his first life, but that's gonna come at the cost of Carlo yet again. The partner will go down, immediate buyback. I just have to pop this one out on Spirit Breaker as well if you want to preserve your mid racks, but it's too late. Jackie already punching away and still has the BKB in the back pocket. 
I can't help but feel like Mega Creeps are going to spell the end of Blacklist Rivalry. They need to do something now. Abed gonna blink in. That's a reveal straight on to Ra uh, Raven. Bring him in as well. But Abed just gets melted. Raven desperately trying to finish up for Saros at the very least. He'll work on this centaur. The last bit of healing. It even keeps him alive for a little bit. Buyback immediately on Masaros and Jackie still stands tall. Blacklist, the pride of the Philippines. They're on their last legs here. And I don't know how long they're standing. GG is called. It's over.